Loved his work on Desperate Housewives and on Mad Men, and you can catch him the season three premiere of Lethal Weapon on Fox tonight at 9 Eastern Time. Keep that going, Mike. Keep that going, because we dialed 8675309 and asked for Kevin Ron to appear, and look who is here. I made it. On the show. Is this your choice of one-hit This is wonder? my choice. Tommy Two-Tone. Tommy It's a go-to in karaoke as well. Is that your karaoke? Can you? It's one of them, yeah. Can you reach this oh, yeah. note? Oh, yeah. Jeez. All right, now, ah. you can, now you can play it up. <laughs> to play us out, Tommy Two-Tone, everybody. You can really hit that A couple level? of cocktails in, I can do it. A couple of cocktails. Yeah. Because I didn't up. hear you do that at the Big Slick this year. Did you do I did didn't. You get out I, oh, Taron, Taron, Taron Killen, Killen. Yeah. He, it was too much. It was, he was so good. They're all I feel like I, I could open for him. <laughs> <laughs> right. You he's just, really good. He's so good. He's really, he's up and there. He can hit, he can get up there really high. I used to be able to, but I can't quite get all of them anymore. So that would be your choice. I, I got to be Double honest. Double went down you. to George's in there. Oh, oh, wow. But Charlie Daniels, didn't he have, he had more than oh, that. Oh, no, no, I'm right? talking about for karaoke. Oh, karaoke. Oh, not okay. one hit wonder. Oh, no, Charlie Daniels is an icon. Uh, okay. Yeah. Now we understand. Actually, no, yeah, no, I'm, no, no, I'm, no, no, I'm no. I'm, 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 I went to karaoke. Here. I went to karaoke. Yeah. One hit wonder right there. I, I got to be honest with you here. And I'm going to be completely honest. And I know that this might be some slings and arrows coming my way. Uh oh. If put to the test, uh -huh. and I'm doing that now, I would have bet, I would have thought Rick Springfield sang that song. That's why they're a one-hit wow. wonder. Eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. Yeah, is that wrong? He no. Rick Springfield was Jenny's uh, Jenny's girl. Jesse's girl. Jesse's, Jesse's, girl. Girl. Jesse's, Jesse's girl. girl. And this is Jenny's. I phone dated number. Jenny's girl. Do you think anybody really has that phone number and people dial it? You like, don't remember what happened when it happened. Let's call it. Everybody who had that number all over America had to change the number. Should we call the Los Angeles the three one zero? Call three one zero. Call the three ten. Call three zero zero. Eight six seven five three zero nine. Yeah, three one zero eight six seven. Five three zero nine. Mike. Eight six seven five. This is there you go be with Kevin Rom live on the no Rich way. Eisen show. <laughs> it's exciting! Oh it's exciting radio. Oh my gosh! This is kind of riveting. Should we do a Jerky Boy sketch? <laughs> hey, I'm gonna bring my shoes and my glasses. Hello, it's Jenny. It's three rings. Nah, they're not Man. answering. They're not answering. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah. we tried. There you go. They, I, I want to get that number and just have the song playing on a loop. <laughs> <laughs> like that's the voice you call. call. Yeah, and yeah, the right. song just plays. Oh, man. So let me describe uh, for the radio listener oh, yeah. uh, right now. Well, there's, yeah, go ahead. Uh, well, describe your shoes. Uh, well, first got... of all, these are LSU shoes. They say LSU right here. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, inside, oh, my gosh. it says Tigers here. And this one uh, wow. says go, but spelled go correctly. Yeah, E A U X. G A U X. Okay, so you put you put go on tigers. the shoe, and then yeah. and then every single time, then you hear this noise when you put the shoe on. Go Tigers! Go tigers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you've got. I didn't know yes. that you could have a long sleeve Ralph Lauren polo zip up yeah, yeah. LSU shirt. So there, yeah. Oh yeah. It's like a pullover. In Louisiana. Where, where you it's can, only found in Louisiana, I believe. Were you concerned about the some Louisiana Texas. Tech situation at some point over the weekend? Kevin no. Rahm. And let me tell you why. Okay. Coach O is so genius. He's not using all of his good plays. He's saving them for Georgia and Alabama. So we put a couple of backups in there. We don't show them the good stuff. They ran the ball. Mm -hmm. They ran the ball. They're saving the big plays for the big games. Okay. There's no reason. You know, the whole running up the score thing, it's ridiculous. So we scored 60 against Kalamazoo. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean anything anymore. Yeah, 38 it's the 20, wins and the losses. 38-21 was the final score. Wins and losses. So what do you think? You think you got a chance? For real, your heart of hearts. Heart of hearts. You know what Alabama's looked like. You see what Georgia looks like. Heart of hearts. Kevin Rahm, you got a shot. Yes. And I'll tell you why. Because they're going to be defensive games. Our defense is that good. You think it's going to be a defensive game with Tua out there? Yes. Tua... Tua, he has not played against a second a secondary like LSU yet. Tua may win the Heisman Trophy, maybe yes. the first Heisman yes. Trophy winning quarterback yes. to play fewer snaps than the backup. Yes, that's entirely he's, he's possible. He's a monster, and they terrify me. But if anyone has a shot, it's us. How badly do you want to beat Nick Saban? I cannot express in words <laughs> how much I want him to lose to LSU. Mainly because he was our coach. And Saban was at LSU. Yes. We win a national championship. He gets his big chance to go to the NFL, which and he apologizes. He says, I got to go to the NFL. But guys, don't worry. I'm going to be in the NFL. I'm not coming back. A year and a half later, not only does he come back, he comes to the SEC West. That's just wrong. <laughs> it's just wrong. And by the way, yeah. 
If he was our coach, I would love him. <laughs> <laughs> full disclosure. I, full disclosure. Attaboy. If he was, if he was on my team, it, you know, it. it's it's who, what's uh, it's like Lambeer. If Lambeer's on your team, he's oh. the best player ever, and if he's not, you hate him. He's exactly that's that's you, the the ultimate. He is if the he's devil. One of my if guys, he's playing against you, oh my gosh, Draymond Green is the current version of that yeah. right now in the NBA. Yes, like you you hate him if you're going against the Warriors, and if you're remember the uh, you remember the Warriors. Go, Draymond. By the, are they going to be the uh, San Francisco Warriors next year? No, no, no. They're still going to be. Gonna... Well, they're still. The state is still golden, <laughs> regardless of which side of the bay in which they they That's play. Uh, Kevin Rom here on the Rich Eisen show, and then you know we had Breeze on in hour number two, and what you know what he what he continues to do. He's now a thirty nine years old. Season right, which, eighteen. Which which in in football years it's like seventy two. It is that. It is. It's really spin move. One, 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 one word, spin move. I know. And just to see that. And then I knew it, too. He everybody talks about Brady's ability to sneak the ball. And it's very good. Breeze is the king of the sticking the ball out, jumping over the center. And that's the way they won the game. This and that's week. how you lose an arm. It's, it's, Those guys are 350 pounds right. coming. I, right. He's he's. So do you think man. you guys, what, what do you think your, your, the Saints' chances are? <clears throat> Never count them out. Although last year, oh, it still hurts. How it pain, still hurts where, me. Where did you watch that it's, game, Kevin? Okay, so I was watching the game. Or the, oh, please, oh that, that's, here's the spinner. Here's the spinner Watch this. Oop, juke. We're going to have to add that to Madden football. There you go. He hit the <laughs> um, B button look at on the, on oh, the entire me. Atlanta Falcons. I'm going to just uh, take this in. Mm-hmm. Uh, last year, I was watching uh, the Minnesota game, which is also, it's painful to wear purple for that reason. Mm-hmm. Um I was watching it at home, but I had it was a Sunday night game. I had to fly back here. I live in Sacramento. I'd fly back here for work mm-hmm. on Lethal the next morning. And so I'm watching the game. I call my Uber to go to the airport. I'm standing outside looking through the window as they score. Right. So I'm in my in the car watching on my phone as we score with no time left. And I'm like, that's it. We mm-hmm. won. Mm-hmm. I get into the Sacramento airport and these two guys are watching on their phones. And they start screaming, we di- we won, we won. And I went, yeah, wait, who's we? Oh, no. And I had to run upstairs to the bar to see the replay and still can't believe it. Oh, that's, I don't. There's yeah, no I story. can't believe we're showing that as that's B-roll right now. That's just mean. That's just, that, how the, do you. Uh, it is truly one of the most gutting losses I've ever seen. And then they just get seen. destroyed. Yeah. They just get, I feel like we would have, we would have put up a fight. I feel like we had a chance. I feel like last year was a big, a big chance for us last year. I think it would have been a definitely. I, I agree with you. I think it would have been a much more competitive NFC and no one wants the Eagles to win, <laughs> except Philadelphia fans. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> but I, I, I pick up what you're saying. So you, you live in Sacramento. <laughs> yes. Work down here in Los Angeles. Yes. Uh, on lethal Sometimes weapon. New York. Um, so does it? Do you go to Kings games? Do you go to? I have been Kings? to Kings. I've been to. So are you a Kings two, fan? Ish. Mm, okay. Why do you live in Sacramento? My wife is a pediatric heart surgeon and got a job at UC Davis. So we're so saving we made kids' that. lives here is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. UC Davis, home UC of Davis. Ken O'Brien. Yes. New York Jet quarterback, <laughs> yes. UC yes. Davis. The Hornets. Yeah. Well, that's Sac State. The UC Davis. Uh, I don't know. Mm. You got me on that one. Sac State's the Hornets. UC Davis UC is. UC Davis. Someone's looking at it. Also home sure. of uh, Chris Peterson, the current coach of uh, Washington football. He was a quarterback there as well. I'm out of UC Davis. So let's move to that's Sacramento. <laughs> Do you have eight children as well? Because We did... have the one child. Okay, that's it. Just, just, we're one and done. Because that's we're it. Good. Sacramento, I think of the Kings, and I think of the Bradford family. And, of, <laughs> and now us. Of eight is enough, and now the, <laughs> now the Roms. The Bradford family. Yes. <laughs> and I don't mean Sam. <laughs> no. No, I'm talking you, Am I? Is you, he related? Is Sam related I to the Bradfords? Don't, I don't think so. I mean, because if it, eight if, kids, there's a lot, you know, the, the tree is spread out. The if, branches are deep. If he was, then uh, three was enough, as in games. For Sam oh. Bradford, see now. UC just... Davis Aggies. Ah, thank Aggies, you, sir. of course. Yeah, of course. Really appreciate course. that. Thank you. Um, so uh, your work in Lethal Weapon in in this, I, I guess, spoiler alert, Riggs um, is no longer. Wait, what? <laughs> is that is that did I spoil it for you Haley? as well? Is this true? Is that true? Yes, oh, thumbs she up. says it's true. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh gosh, did I tell any tales out of school? Right? Of course not. No, no. So he's well, I mean, gone. I feel like I feel like when there's a gunshot to the chest on a grave. I don't know, it, man. Have you seen Game of Thrones? I mean, Jon Snow. You know what I mean? Like in the he, world he came of television. Back from the dead. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Oh, you know what I mean? Is that true too? I don't know. Um, so you are part of a lethal weapon where we're, I guess, advancing the story. Yes, a little yes. Bit so we have it this year. We have a new character coming in, uh, Cole. Mm-hmm. Colt, Cole. Yeah. 
Cole, sorry. <laughs> Sean Cole, I'm William Scott. Col- Colt, Colt McCoy. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, Sean William Scott comes in, who plays a very different character, mm-hmm. um, who is amazing. He And what was really cool about what he did is for the for two months, he did this like crazy fight training. Because one of his character's um, idiosyncrasies is that he doesn't want to use the weapon because mm-hmm. he's used weapons so much in the past. He'd rather not pull a weapon, so he likes hand-to-hand fighting. So you got to think like born identity, like style fighting, really close hand-to-hand stuff, which is cool. Right, and uh, and Damon Wayans and you, Jordana Brewster, good cast, man, good She's times. Sharp. And you're on every single day. You're on Audience. Madman's on at seven Eastern time That's every amazing. single day. Yeah. What was that like being that, on that show at the height of of it? That was magical. That was that was something special. That's like. I, I don't know what to really near like being on sports center early on, you know, in the, in the early days, it's like, there's something special about that, that group of people and, and Matt Weiner's writing and the, and the whole writing crew and just the, the amount of detail they went into. There was a scene when, uh, my secretary hands me a, a plane ticket. And in the scene, I literally take it and put it in my pocket and I still have this plane ticket. And if you open it up, it is, it has the carbon copy. And I guarantee you, if you look up the dates of the flights of uh, the date and time of those flights, that's really? the flight number, like the detail if they handed you a file on Hershey, it was a file on Hershey. It was no. A, yes. There wasn't just like empty no. papers in there. No, it wasn't like medical records from the 60s, which is usually what you get. So um, was it really like scotch in the glass too? Ish? <laughs> Depends on how late in the day the scene was. <laughs> we did have a full bar in the makeup trailer. Really? Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah. Wow. No one, we, people stayed after work. I mean, that's the only show I've ever been on where people came on their days off to hang out. Yeah. We so full bar in the like you and Slattery and everybody were yeah. just you're just while you're getting a little bit of the powder makeup after after work. Yeah. After work. Never after during work. never during work. Okay. That, that, no, never during work. No, that was that's like water and I don't tea or oh, something. Okay. No, no, no. I'm just totally it's joking. But after work, we would mad. We would play. We were always playing it. games. We were playing uh, cribbage and dominoes and cards. And we had a, like a table with a, a, a little outdoor area like a patio so who's the best poker player on the set we didn't play poker okay so who's the best card player on the set oh we had we had the one week long cribbage tournament okay that uh and we'd play teams john was really good ham was really good Mm -hmm. um that's a sh- that's a shocker that Ham's really yeah, good at good something. At, good at, <laughs> what a shocker! This just in. Yeah, this just in. <laughs> Handsome guy is also talented at cards. Good at cribbage. What, what in the hell? Cribbage is Could he be bad at something? Uh, good to see you, Kevin. You Rahm. too. Good you to too. see you, man. At Kevin Rom on Twitter, I follow. You. Yeah, you want to? Yeah. T- what's your handy? Oh, uh, at Kevin Rom. Okay. On uh, Instagram. You know, what's at, your handicap? I was going to say. I'm a ten. All right. I'm an eight something index. Okay. Oh, the one other thing. Uh, yeah. October. Uh, 16th or 18th, whatever that Thursday night is, my wife yes. and I are the co-hosts of the March of Dimes Signature Chef event in Sacramento, California. Fantastic. So if you're in Sacramento, come. And if not, you can go on my Twitter and there's a link to donate. Fantastic. March of Dimes. Great cause, March of Dimes. Season premiere of uh, Lethal Weapon, season three tonight at 9 Eastern time. Come Thank back anytime, much. sir. My pleasure. Good to see you. Kevin Rom here on the Rich Eisen Show. Uh, eight, to dial... Uh, eight six seven five three zero nine. See if anybody answers. Do, you know what? Do the 318. Do the Louisiana area code. 318. Oh. See Try that. that. You're gonna get. You're gonna hear Coach O answer. Don't tag us. <laughs> Don't tag us. <laughs> Do what actually? We, we, <laughs> Don't call it. <laughs> My gosh. I'm not. Because we've already had enough radio of listening to All the right, rings. Okay, and okay. you tell Sarah to never bet against the Saints again. Oh, Sarah Tiana bet against she's the Saints. Falcons. Oh, that's right. Okay. She's a Falcons fan. Well, you don't have to put Big your Falcons money on it. Fan. You don't have to put your money no, on no, it. No, no. She dressed up and they made fun of it. Oh, on I know. Well, yeah, here's the thing too. By the way, I picked the Saints this week. Here's the thing: is it usually the road team wins that game? Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if Atlanta goes into the Superdome and wins the the rematch. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Uh, good to see you, Kevin. My Rowe. pleasure. Thank okay, you. your phone calls at eight four four two zero four Rich. We will pick that number up. The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.